Hey guys, this is the first edition of Monthly Favorites. Welcome to January Favorites from 2014. You all know I love food and I've been trying to just change up my eating a little bit and eat healthier and I've hired a health coach as you know, I discussed this in my blog. So I'm gonna talk about some things that I've been loving this month in terms of food. Ezekiel bread. It's nothing new, really, it's really awesome. Sprouted grain bread. It's better for you than regular whole grain bread because it's sprouted. Grass fed pastured butter. I use the Kerry Gold one. It's not organic, but I'm, I'm probably gonna get a different organic one next time. Um, it's the first time I've used butter in years. I've I've been really against using butter just because I used to think that low fat is the way to go, but that's not the case uh, anymore. So I'm definitely going to talk more about this in the future on the blog as well. So another thing, it's January or the end of January, so it's kind of weird, but I've been craving apples like crazy. I've been loving apples this whole month. Uh, this is Golden Delicious, but I've also been eating Honeycrisp apples, light coconut milk. This is from Trader Joe's, and the reason I use light um, is because I'm just adding it to um, chia pudding um, and some smoothies that I'm making, like protein shakes and stuff. And it's really cool because it's not super thick, but it's just a little bit creamier than regular milk, like almond milk, or I have a couple of recipes on my blog. Um, you can find uh, the links below. And lastly, I've been eating a lot of sushi lately. I freaking love it and it's so good. Um, I had sushi on the night after I finished my three-day juice cleanse, um, which you can learn about on my blog as well. I had awesome black rice sushi for my birthday and I'm actually going out for sushi tonight again for my friend's birthday. So sushi all around. I'm loving it because I haven't had sushi in forever um, before this month. So it's pretty awesome. This month I started working out again. Yay. After some hiatus um, and I'm actually being consistent with it so it's really awesome and I am doing the she and he eat clean 12-week transformation program and it's online it's pretty cool I really love it I'm in the build phase so it's all strength training and I love it because I love strength training you know me I love lifting I'm not looking forward to the cardio con but whatever we'll see how it goes I also finished two really good books reconstruction Amelia um, which I don't have with me but this uh, lawyer mother she's a single mother her daughter dies and people think she jumps off the roof of her school and people are thinking that it's suicide but then she gets some anonymous text messages saying that she didn't jump and she's trying to pretty much figure out what happened to her why did Amelia jump off the building was she did she jump was she pushed off who did it and um, it's a really really interesting book um, another book I just finished I really really love this book um, it's called The Fault in Our Stars by John Green a bunch of teenage kids that have cancer and they're basically dealing with cancer and it's really humorous it's really um, light read easy to read but it's also pretty heartbreaking and you know very emotional because it is about cancer I'm gonna do a full review on this in the blog soon as well lastly a really cool thing that I bought very recently is the Gabriel Code uh, body and mind transformation program um, it's an online program that lets you pretty much rewire your brain um, and your mind in terms of a weight loss, seeing how you approach food and like if you have any fat triggers that are keeping you from being at your ideal weight. Um, so it's pretty cool because there's a lot of visualization, there's a lot of science that goes into it, um, and it's not like, it's not a weight loss plan or anything like that. There's no plans, there's no diets, there's no like exercise programs. It's, it's all about the mind and that's what I really like because I've been trying to be a lot more mind-centric with everything. So um, it's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to report back. Um, when I'm done with the six weeks, I'll definitely report back. I'm on week two right now. So. I love music. I listen to music all the freaking time. Number one, Us. I love them so much. I found them randomly on Vine and the girl's voice is amazing. Another band I'm loving is The Neighborhood and I'm excited because I bought tickets for them and I'm going to see them in March in Chicago. So yes, here's an example of what they sound like. Some other bands that I've been loving is Feist, Emiliano Torini, and Angus and Julia Stone. And you can see what they sound like um, on the blog post below. There's a link below this video as well. Um, and now, something different that people don't do, I think, I'm gonna do it, is my favorite blogger spotlight. 
and um, this is a blogger I just found this month, actually pretty recently in the last week, Just Making Noise. She's a deaf woman, she's a mom, and she's pretty much talking about real food, nutrition, health, um, lifestyle, pretty much everything that I'm really about right now. And I really recommend her blog. She has a lot of really good information and um, I listed a few awesome articles that I found on her blog below this video as well. It's about like soaking seeds, uh, soaking grains and why it's good for you and then some awesome recipes that are grain free as well. Thanks for watching January favorites for 2014. This is my first one so if you have any tips for me, if you think something was like, eh, I don't think she should be talking about that, let me know and I will definitely keep that in mind for the next month. Visit me at sensualappealblog.com and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys!